All right, here's a review video between the iRobot vacuum and the DBot vacuum here. Uh, overall, I would say the iRobot is a lot more simple, like it's just one small device there versus the DBot here is a lot more bulkier, but it does a lot more features, like it actually mops the floor for you. It has the, um, the mop on the bottom and it also cleans for you like wet and dry versus this here basically just does uh, normal vacuuming, uh, collect collecting like dust, hair, um, anything you can name it. But this here, it actually mops for you and it also has like a camera right there, which kind of um, looks at the entire area and you can also control both devices using your mobile app. Um, so it's a lot more convenient as well for both cases. This one, um, it actually cleans and then it goes back to the home base here. And when it does, it actually um, remove the, um, the, the trash directly with the machine. So you don't have to do any of the manual work. And when this is full, you just have to open this here and replace the bin or the trash bag. But this one here is a lot more manual. You would have to flip it here remove the dustbin and then dump it out. And maybe sometimes there might be hair that gets stuck in there. So you might have to also manually remove it. Uh, but that, that does not mean you don't need to do that for this machine. Overall, um, from time to time, you will need to clean the bottom of it as well, just because hair does get stuck. The only difference I would say is you don't have to manually dust off the bin um, as this machine does it for you. Uh, but I would say the DBot is a lot more expensive and it also takes up a lot more space. So unless you really need that, I would highly just recommend going with the iRobot uh, for like normal cleaning. Uh, we have a, a dog at home, so it does clean up for us really well, uh, gets rid of all the uh, like dog hair and all the dust on the floor and it works really well.